How you doing, folks? I am the Mighty Plantain. I got Boosh with me again. <laughs> we are doing another wine. Uh, we're hitting Dragonfly Winery once again. Yep. Uh, big popular winery in this area. It is a local main winery, and it just happens to be the one winery that I've picked up like four or five different wines from. So, uh, hey. just outside of Bangor. Yep, Stetson, Maine, or Banger. Banger, depending on which part of the country you're from. Yep. Um, it's uh, not a bad drive. It's quick and easy to reach, and uh, the wines are nice and affordable. <coughs> and um, well, that's why I have so many of them. And that's why most of the wine reviews you'll find on this channel are from that winery. Hey, get those viewer suggestions in for stuff that we can actually find around yep. here, and we'll see what we can do about getting some different wineries featured. Uh, so this is my best friend. It is a blackberry table wine. We're gonna check that out. While I'm getting this uh, opened up and poured out, make sure to hit us up down below with a like and a share. And subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. Hopefully you're getting some value out of these. Uh, they're taking some of the mystery out of your local wine selection. I usually say beer cooler there, but... Uh, but today is wine. Yes, and I think we're getting to the point where we can talk about wine selections. Da, 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 and wine this and wine that, even though we are no, not... There are, go ahead. No, no, that say. was a nice pleasant pop. Even though we're not wine aficionados, so to speak, we will give you the layman's opinion, which is kind of what we do with beers. We're, anyway. I'm not one of those snobs who can sniff and taste a beer and say, well, I know exactly which hop blend is in there, and there are these three varieties. Yeah, and not I can quite that which good yet. Malts went in there, but I can tell you what I think about it. Yep. Same thing with the wine. We'll tell you what we think about it and what we're tasting. Because honestly, it's mostly layman. You don't want some snob telling you, well, you need to buy this vintage, and if you do not enjoy it, it if you don't like it, then you you're a like huge it, then scum. Because you know what? Go to hell. You might not like what the snobs like. Nope. I was, I although I was going to say, if, you were, if you're from this area, Waterville, mm -hmm. Winslow area, you got Meridians, where you can find some pretty decent wines there, and they'll actually talk to you about them. That place is great. I love going there. They're right in Fairfield. Yep, right in Fairfield. You also got Jokers. Jokers has a lot. One section, one whole section of his place is just full of wine. And uh, note to the wise, uh, they keep half the meads in the wine section and some of the others on a separate shelf. Yeah. Some places consider meads closer to wines. Others consider them closer to beers. So if you're looking for a mead might be hard to find. Yeah. Uh, well, it isn't, just a mead, from isn't really the mead more, uh, uh, what, is it, what is it? It's fermented uh, from honey. Fermented from honey, that's right. So some would say it's closer to a malted beverage, others would say it's closer to a wine. Because, yeah. But it, again, uh, that it, it makes it hard to find in some places because uh, depending on the opinion, they may put it in a different section of the store. But anyway. Right. And Jokers, one of the one of the other places games. one of the other places is Damon's as well in Augusta. Damon's Used in to Augusta. be a Lewis Beverage Bar. They have uh, stuff they have that the other places don't. They have some of the stuff that the other places don't. So if you're in the Central Maine slash Kennebec County area, make the circuit because those three places, between the three of them, you're likely to find stuff. I, uh, one thing I right. like about Meridians, um, and I'm not so much into the wines, but for beers. They will carry stuff that the other two places don't. They'll carry stuff from smaller, well, not necessarily <laughs> smaller, but lesser known breweries, less right. local breweries. And, uh, yeah, I know, I just slurred a little bit there. Um, but uh, if you're looking for something unusual that you won't find everywhere else in the area, check them out. They don't yep. even carry, like, Boston Beer Company beers, and they carry very few stone beers. Um, they're mostly carrying local beers and uh, stuff from out of state from smaller breweries. So it's very interesting to go from there and check out their yep. beer selection. And another place is the Trade Winds in Brewer as well. Uh, they have that. They yes. have the, it's a new place, somewhat, right? Fairly it's new to us, at least. New to us, but they have a lot of the beers up there that we have tried actually and done reviews on a couple other places in that area also is uh, Burby and Bates oh I love Burby and Bates so does every college student yep. in the Bangor or no area yep 
And that, uh, well, yeah, that was an R and right? Yeah. And they actually have a better liquor selection than some of the other places in the area. Yes, so, they do. Uh, That's where we found that uh, Scapa. Mm-hmm. Oh, Scapa. Oh, that so was good. good stuff. Oh, yes. All right. So uh, we've been reminiscing a bit. Hopefully you've gotten some value and a little bit of education about the local liquor, beer, wine scene out of that. Yep. But uh, back to this wine. It's actually um, got a decent set of legs. It does, actually. And it, it's sticking to the glass pretty good. There's not very many droplets forming. No. What I'm seeing is mostly a, a very nice slick all the way around. It actually it looks very nice. Yeah. Nice, almost a burgundy color as well. More more from, uh, what was that, black? <laughs> was it blackberry? Blackberry, yeah. Yeah, you get the more that dark black kind of purplish color from the blackberries. Uh, I'd put it more on the rosy end. Yeah. It actually reminds me a lot of a very thick hummingbird formula. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah. Not that hummingbird food tastes very pleasant, but uh, it's no, almost it's reminiscent. Sweet. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of that type of that type of reddish dye. As far as the color goes, yeah. Yeah, the color. The color. Yeah. Um, Hopefully it doesn't taste like hummingbird food. <laughs> I yeah. doubt it will. It actually smells pretty good. This place. Can, you can, the thing is about about wines, to me the wines really taste, really smell how they taste. What I've noticed. Hmm. That's actually, I, I get a bit I of can, dichotomy between with, the two. With me I can pretty much just smell the alcohol. Whatever content it would be. Hmm. Uh, I can't really smell the... Uh, the mash, so to speak. Yeah. Very alcohol forward in this one, like you said. Yeah. But I am getting a bit of um, a bit of tartness. Yep, and there is a little bit of that. Almost. Almost like a fruity hop. I'll give you that. Comparing it to a beer, yes. A very fruity hoppiness. Yeah. The very tart. Yep. Mm. It's kind of harsh. It is, but you can tell there's blackberry in it. Mm-hmm. That's really a good flavor. I mean, obviously, a very distilled blackberry, blackberry yes. flavor. Yes, but it's still there. It's not very sweet. No. But it's not very bitter, neither, or, or sour. No. And it's just kind of a, a muted overall, what you'd expect from a blackberry slightly muted and, and covered up by an alcohol right, taste. Right. Um, but there's not that much of an alcohol taste to it. No. You can smell it, but it's not. Well, it's not forward, and it fades very quickly. <clears throat> Overall, I'd, I'd characterize this as subtle. Very subtle. Very subtle blackberry, very subtle alcohol. Overall, just a very muted, muted flavor. Sounds like we got a thunderstorm coming. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. It's actually not bad. Well, it's not bad, but it's not really... For me, it's not as pleasant as some of the other wines I've had. Right. Me too. I think it's because of the... I mean, I would, I would drink this a little bit. If you had this, I would drink this more than anything else that we've tried, really. Really? For a, for a wine. For a wine. See for me, it's because actually it's, going the opposite. It's the easy. To, it's easy to drink. I mean, I don't like those sour and those really tart. Not not. I I, I like sour, but I don't like bitter. Mm. That's the thing. Uh, that that for me, wines really have that bitter flavor. But this one's actually pretty good. For me, it's hitting the other end of the spectrum. I I'm actually going to rate this at a three and a half out of five. The the fact that everything's so muted puts it. As less pleasing to the palate for me. Right, and and well, that's kind of the way I feel too. I'm not gonna give this a five, but I'm gonna give this probably a four. Mm. But it it is one. If you actually had this bottle and when you were offering it at a party, I'd drink some of it. Oh yeah, definitely. Where, norm- where normally any other wine, I wouldn't. So you're 
be I'm right this out one, front. This one this. actually would be pretty good. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to turn it down. It's not bad, but uh, honestly, I think I'd rather have a, a, a really good beer. Um, now, if it was this or Budweiser, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll Thanks. take this. Honestly, even if it was this or Sam Adams, Boston Lager, even though I love Boston Lager and I rate that well, the thing is, is that you perfect beer, I would probably take this just because it's, it's less something different. common And it's for something me. different. Exactly. I'll, I'll drink Sam Adams Boston Lager all the time, but if this is offered, it's different. Yeah. But yeah, I don't well, enjoy it as much as I do that beer. That's that's just it. If it was any other any other wine, if it was offered, I'd probably try it just to see what it tastes, just to see what it's like. But it's not. It's nothing that I would actually go to. I won't go to. A, I won't go to the bar. I mean, go to the uh, the store and buy a bottle of wine. No, no. Yeah, that's pretty much true for us anyway. But we've been up. But I would. With that. But I would probably buy. I would buy a bottles and games. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> We're not even going down that road. So, uh, that's our opinion. I'm going to throw a user poll up here. We welcome yours. There you go. Rate that one to five. Let me know what you think about the uh, the wine, if you've had it. Um, unfortunately, I can only go one to five. I can't give you the half rating options that we have, because right. uh, YouTube only gives you one to five. But um, also, you can hit me up in the email link in the comments down below. Love to hear what you think about this wine. Until next time, folks. Cheers. Keep drinking. Now, says the man who pulled the big swallow and emptied his glass. <laughs> <laughs>